Give me your hand. What? Your hand. It's cut. Let me help you. No, it's fine, sir. No, it's not. So now you're going to be a gentleman? Giants can smell blood. And I'm always a gentleman. Ah! Oh, what the hell is that? It's rum. The bloody waste of it. Well, here's the plan. We wait for the giant to fall asleep. And when he does, we'll sneak past him into his cave. That's where the treasures are. Where the compass lies. And then? And then we run like hell. I don't have time to wait for a giant to fall asleep. The powder Mulan gave us, we need to use it. We've got to knock him out. Well, that's riskier. Then waiting for a giant to fall asleep when we need him to? Point taken. Oh, you're a tough lass. You make a hell of a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> you are bloody brilliant. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I see it. The compass. It's more beautiful than legend. I told you a lie. I brought you here. I risked my own safety to help you. The compass is in your hand. Why do this to me now? I can't take a chance that I'm wrong about you. Sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry! I got you here! I got you the compass! I got the compass. But well, you're just gonna leave me here to die. Now that beast to eat me, to crush my bones. He's not a beast. And you're not gonna die. I just need a head start, that's all. Swan! 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 What do we need to do? Focus on Cora. Welcoming thoughts? Whatever you got. Sit. Sorry, love. That was me. I crossed my legs and bumped the table. Things are gonna stop chasing this woman. What's the big deal about these things? You were saying. What am I supposed to do? Blend in. Wait, are you saying you know how to do whatever this is? It's called a waltz. There's only one rule. Pick a partner who knows what he's doing. Actually getting the 
the hang of this. I'm not mocking you, Swan. Just thinking about what you said in the storybook. About not being a princess. Really? You get my first dance at my first royal ball, and all you can say is, I told you so? I believe what I'm trying to say, Your Highness, is that you appear to be a natural. That's charming. Would you care to dance? My feet are killing me. If only I thought to wear my comfortable shoes. Would you like me to fetch them for you, my dear? My hero. Pleasure, my queen. I thank you for honoring my daughter with your presence. And thank you for your generous hospitality. I hope you don't mind, I brought some friends. Regina's here. Damn it, that definitely was not in the plan. Breathe, Swan, she's a guest. The king's head would vanish to another realm if he didn't invite her. Yeah, good point. Where's Charming? You okay? Yeah. She's so cold. Oh. oh, that's good. I'll go make some hot cocoa. Wait. I know, with cinnamon. I'm sorry if it wasn't much help earlier, kid. I'm just glad you're okay. I was already down to one mother, and I won't go lower than that. <laughs> Elsa, are you okay? Not only have I lost my sister, I've lost her necklace, too. Now I have nothing of hers. And let's find her. I don't see anything. It should work. Is it broken? Or does it mean something happened to her? Hey, what's that sound? Is that a heartbeat? It is. We might not know where your sister is. But we know the most important thing. She's alive. Who's alive? Oh. Who are you? Uh, this is Elsa. We're gonna find her sister. That's what this family does, we find people. Oh. We always do, because we really, really don't like to give up. Last one, what do you think? I like that it's not Granny's. <laughs> I've only seen you go on one date, and that was with a flying monkey. Thought I had to top that. He set the bar pretty high. He proposed that night. He also tried to kill you. Right, there's that. <clears throat> Shall I order us some drinks? Not tonight. Why, love, are you uh, a bit worried you find me even more irresistible after a few libations? No. I want to stay sober tonight just in case the Snow Queen decides to crash our date. You still think her being here has something to do with you? I don't think it, I know it. There was a puddle next to my car this afternoon. A puddle? What's that proof? Look, Swan, I didn't bring you here to worry about the Snow Queen. I brought you here to show you a good time. Oh, bloody hell, what's the sheriff doing here? Sorry. Really Thank you. Oh. Oh my god, are you alright, mate? There really? you go. Take your glass there, mate. Yeah. Apologize to the lady, mate. Killian, look, it's okay. You. You're the thief that took off from the ice cream shop. Nope. Not gonna do it. 
We are on a date. And I am not gonna let some petty fairy tale thief ruin it. And there's an ice wall around the town. He can't get away. I'll find him, but he's not gonna ruin this night. Gillian? Hey, look. It's okay, it was just a glass of wine. Sorry, love, I uh, don't know what got into me. actually managed to make me forget that Storybrooke was under siege from an evil Snow Queen. I was worried that our run-in with that thief might have cast a poor. I apologize for overreacting. Hey. It's okay. You wanna come in and have coffee with my parents, a newborn, and a human ice maker? <laughs> <laughs> I really need my own place. I suppose we just have to wait till next time. Next time? I don't remember asking. It's because it's my turn. Will you go out with me again? since I recorded it, but some things happened today made me think about the past. We're collective today, are we? Hey, show me. I'd love to know more about your beginnings. <laughs> Who's that last? Where's that? I don't really remember. Maybe my next foster home? Blocked it out in a pleasant time. I guess. Who's that, another friend? I don't remember any of this. Give it back, Kevin. The camera is Emma's. What the hell? Is that? Celebrate. For I may not be the savior, but I've just saved the day. Hang on. Don't get your hopes up yet. Okay. What exactly are we celebrating? The portal to Arendelle. I found it. So, bottoms up. You found a portal. Well, I found gold. He told me where to locate one. A door in the ballroom of that lakeside mansion. Yes, it appears our Rumpelstiltskin has turned over a new leaf. Apparently dozens of leaves. Mm. Are you sure we can trust him? Positive. The crocodile truly has changed. He gave me a long-winded explanation about the portal. About how it brought the uh... Snow Queen into this land. Which I don't recall. But the important thing is, it works. All they have to do is walk through it. Then we should go. Brilliant. You do, Van. I, alas, bruise myself during the curse. Really need to get it seen to. Hey, Gillian. What's wrong? You are acting strange. Nothing. I'm fine.
see you around. Love. You got it? I got it. many a vile creature from my voyages. Emma, I'm glad you're here. We have to go. What, now? We just came to meet you for lunch. I've been dying for a grilled cheese all day. No, I'll have to wait. You're aware we have two new friends in town. They're up to something. If we hurry, we can pick up the trail. Looks like duty calls. Well, so on mine did you summon me? Because I know there's something about your past with Ursula you're not telling me. And that's okay. What's not okay is you lying to me about it. I love you, right? I haven't been entirely forthright with you. The truth is, I remember my history with Ursula. And it was ugly. Did you break her heart? Worse. You did. You're not that person anymore. It's not going to change anything between us. That's quite a lot of faith you're putting on me, Swan. I know. And there's a reason for it. What's that? My parents. I had this moment today where I doubted them. They said they were going for a hike, and I actually thought they were lying to me. Were they? No. Of course not, my parents would never lie to me. But the fact that I could think that they would, it reminded me that I have this tendency to expect the worst of people. In my childhood, people were always letting me down, and I... Hey, I don't intend to let you down. I know. I know, whatever happened with that sandwich. You can tell me on your own time. No matter what, I'm gonna do what my parents always do. I'm gonna choose to see the best in you. And I with you. <clears throat> Sorry, we just didn't want to interrupt. So you awkwardly stood there and watched? Next time, interrupt. <laughs> whole time I was right. You were lying. I wanted to believe you. I wanted to believe in you. We were just Not 
Hey. I'm just gonna need some time. August is awake. Your parents are with him. Is he? He's gonna be fine. Your friend, it's gonna be fine. What have my parents said to you? Oh, they didn't think you'd listen to them. They're right. Oh, oh. Uh, Killian, this is my mom. Mom, Killian. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, um... <laughs> Pleasure. Yeah, right. Look, we need to get going. I've got a wedding to stop. You were telling me that in this other reality, I'm an expert with such a weapon. You're a regular Jack Sparrow. Is that good? Here, let me show you how to use it. Oh. They say once you become an expert, your subconscious takes over. Back in my world, that's what we call muscle memory. Tell me more about this reality you want to return to. Us. For example, I sense that we, uh, we may be close. Very. Really? Well, I'm starting to get jealous of the other me. Let's see what food Henry's discovered. I'm starving. Where is he? Where's Hook? Uh, he was there right before we got dragged away. Everyone reappeared where they were before this whole mess started. Oh. Yeah, sorry about the mess. I really needed to find that book, and I'm usually a bit tired, yeah. Oh. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, love? I'm a survivor. Look, I didn't mean to cause any panic. I woke moments before your parents and came up here looking for your boy. He's fine, Henry's fine. I just... glad you are, too. What is it? When I... watched you die... I was afraid I was never going to get a chance to tell you something. Tell me what. I... want to thank you for sacrificing yourself. Henry and I wouldn't have succeeded without you. Of course, love. That's all in a day's work for a hero. So are you guys gonna tell me how y'all got here? Well, it might be easier to show you. You brought grannies. Backup generator's working, but the fryers are shocked. I'm granny. Terrible news. No one in rings. I'm Leroy. There's no shortage of people who want to help you. Emma! First crush, I 
time on it. apologize for overreacting last time. I know you're just trying to help. So I thought we could just talk and have lunch like old times. I'd like nothing more. But this is hardly like old times. Better? And that's not a simple answer, so let's start easy. Your new house. What's behind that locked door? You know I want to trust you, Emma. Why don't you help me? So trust me. With my powers, I could hide anything from your prying eyes anyway. Now you've answered my first question too. You're not the same, Emma. She didn't play games. Yes. I'm different. I'm better. Beautiful animal, isn't she? The finest horse in all of Cavalon. Go on. At least the finest I could borrow without anyone noticing. I thought the plan was to ride the horse. This feels a lot like walking. This isn't like driving that yellow contraption of yours. You can't just turn a key. The horse has to trust you. So, go on. Introduce yourself. the pony smarter than the pirate. She knows what you are, dearie. Go away. Swan, stop talking to the demon in your head. Get on the horse. This is pointless. I'm the dark one. What's this going to do? This isn't about the bloody horse, Emma. This is about you putting your faith in me. In our future. You still think we can get back there to Storybrook and some white picket fence life? Yes. I'll never stop fighting for us. All you have to do is trust me. This will work. I 
trusting me with your body. You've left no room for me in that head of yours. Well, now that we're alone, 